Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running Three Heroes. Sadly, tonight, for our one and only mile, we are running for another fallen fire captain who have unfortunately lost his life in line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen fire captain Jason Smith. He worked with the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma, and his last alarm was May 8th of 2022, and lost his life after he succumbed to injuries he sustained while he was burned back on April 5th of 2022 after their truck rolled over while they were responding to the Beaver River fire. He was 43 years old at the time of his passing and served many years as a, uh, as a, as a firefighter, and he leaves behind a wife, children, and other loving family members. Tonight, I'll be running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop at my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my whole family who are joining us in this run. Before I run charge, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and apartment through the hard time they are going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight's Ecker are running one and only mile. This mile tonight in honor of fallen fire captain Jason Smith. He worked at the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma, tragically losing his life on May the 8th, 2022. He lost his life after he succumbed to injuries that he sustained after he was burned back on April the 5th when the truck that he was in rolled over into a ditch while at the scene of the Beaver River fire. Sadly, he was 43 years old at the time of his passing. We were not able to find what his length of service was, but we know he served proudly for his community and sadly leaves behind a wife, children, as well as other loving family members. Zachary completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile tonight to honor fallen fire captain Jason Smith. We always appreciate every agency that continually comes out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. Tonight, helping to honor fallen fire Captain Jason Smith, we have members of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Running with Zechariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based out of the Orlando International Airport. We also have other members of our community, including Jaden, who also runs as part of Running for Heroes. Again, we're here today to pay tribute to 43-year-old fire Captain Jason Smith, who tragically on May the 8th, 2022, Lost his life after succumbing to injuries that he sustained back on April 5th when he was burned when their truck rolled over into a ditch while at the scene of the Beaver, Beaver River fire. He worked with the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma and sadly leaves behind a wife, children, and other loving family members. Zachary now completing his second of seven laps, which once again is one mile tonight to honor Fire Captain Jason Smith. For every mile that is completed by Zechariah, he carries a unique flag, and each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. The flag he carries tonight is the red line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of Fallen Fire Captain Jason Smith upon our return home from DC for police weeks. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the day with details on how you can be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes lap number three and starts lap number four, I'm going to go silent, and I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on life this hero today, Fallen Fire Captain Jason Smith. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to everybody with the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma, as well as his family, his wife, children, and all those mourning the loss of this hero. We also want to thank the Civil County Sheriff's Office, who will also be joining in for the duration of this run.
So, Granny, final words tonight for the family of fallen fire captain Jason Smith. To the whole family of fallen fire captain Jason Smith, everybody with the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma, along with his wife, children, and the rest of his family. We hope all of you heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. Fire Captain Jason Smith um, was burned after being a part in a his fire truck crashing and flipping over um, back on April 5th, and he succumbed to his injuries just over a month later on May 8th. Um, and not only that, but Oklahoma has had a, a really hard year so far. We've had to go there for many. Re we've had to go there for reasons before. At the same time, we've had to run for them a lot more than usual. And sadly, it's reached the Balco Fire Department area. Our prayers are going to continue to stay with everybody who's going through a difficult time, including his wife and children. Um, and we hope that this run can help you out. Furthermore, if you are part of the family of Fire Captain Jason Smith, I'll be sending you this red line flag. Remember tonight and here it's on it very soon. Along with a, a, a handwritten note I've already written that is, re that is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you decide to do with it, we hope it forever everybody should comfort knowing how much of a hero he was. If all of you tonight would now like to join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute each second day, kidding, one amazing thing Fire Captain Smith did during his life, including as a fire captain in his community. Each second can also dedicate maybe a life he saved or an accomplishment he made during his life. Following that will also be a prayer. So if all of you would now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds, please do right now. Dear God, tonight we came here to run for a fallen fire captain who lost his life in line of duty. Fire Captain Jason Smith was just 43 years old and lost his life after succumbing to burns due to a fire truck crash. God, watch over everybody with the Balco Fire Department in Oklahoma through the hard time they are going through, and the whole state of Oklahoma as they have been having a tough year with losing our firefighters and officers. Thank you again, God, for putting amazing first responders in this world, including in the Balco area, and I pray you watch over them and keep them safe as they continue to go to calls without their fire captain. Thank you again, God, and Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in this one mile tonight. Um, knowing that it was only one mile, I do want to thank the uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife uh, for coming out, uh, patrolling with us, along with the Simla County Sheriff's Office. And I want to thank the U.S. Customs and Border Protection for also coming out, um, along with Jaden um, and many other supporters as well. Um, we're not going to be running here until at least Tuesday. Um, um, and on Tuesday, sorry, until, until Tuesday, we're going to be in Washington, D.C. for Police Weeks. Um, so say a prayer for our first responders and let's hope they all stay safe. Um, we, we, all, we already know we have at least one to run for when we come back and that's for a, a fallen Harris County Sheriff's Office deputy out of Houston once again. We hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God bless you all.